Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can extract the forces for shear wall design from Stat Pro. So many have, uh, uh, you can say, say that uh, extracting the forces for shear wall design is very difficult in in Stat Pro because when you see generally when you see the moments and uh, you can say uh, uh, the shear forces, so these are not actually the in plane uh, forces, correct? But when we are designing the shear wall, the basic funda is to get the in plane moment and uh, you can just shear so that we can design it for the acting lateral force, correct? So in this case, how you can extract the uh, in plane forces in this in this particular model? So here I have just model a uh, normal frame and uh, having one shear wall. So it is just a 2D uh, structure and what I have done, I have assigned the properties also here. So you can see the, uh, it is of a 300 mm thick uh, shear wall or structural wall. Then we have the columns and the beams, correct? And uh, what I have done, I have just assigned some imaginary loads. So I have assigned the dead load, only the self weight of the structure. And in EL, suppose the earthquake load. So what I have done, uh, story wise, I have applied some incremental loads, suppose 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So these are imaginary loads. Okay, I have not calculated anything. And I have created one design combination, which is 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 EL or earthquake load, correct? So these are just, uh, uh, just to demonstrate this particular thing. Uh, then, I have given the perform analysis command so that I can perform the analysis. So let's just perform the analysis first. I will go to the front view so that I can clearly view this uh, structure and I will run the analysis. So analysis and design, run analysis. So let it finish. Okay, so the analysis is done. Now what we will do, we will go to the post processing mode. So I'll go to post processing mode, oh done. Here you can see the deflection of the structure. Obviously, this is what we expect. Now, what we want, if you see here, that generally at the very end, there is no movement, but from here, the bending is started, in-plane bending started, correct? Correct? So, for each story, like what we can do, uh, generally, we cannot provide a reinforcement or we are not providing reinforcement at every story right different uh, reinforcement at different stories so what we do generalize suppose two story we will provide a single uh, like the same reinforcement then we will go for another two story with same reinforcement and maybe if you have more another two story same reinforcement like this so we get the moment maximum moment for this story and we provide uh, obviously at the bottom we will be having more moment and uh, axial load also so we will find the moment from here or somewhere here in the plate correct and for this we will be structure i can say shear wall up to this level so this is as the design part but now how to extract the design force from here so generally what the plate stress you get these are the you can say the bending stresses out of plane okay so now to get the in plane uh, moment what you have to do i will go to here layouts and here you will get another one option which is called results along the line okay results along line so here i will click on this results along line and i will come here so previously i have created two things i will show you how i have created this actually okay so now how to get the result along line no, along which direction I first of all I have to decide along which direction I have to get the forces. So obviously, at the lateral force, uh, we are generally designing the shear walls for for taking the lateral forces. So in the lateral direction only we need to get the moments, right? So along this direction we need to get the or along this direction we need to get the forces. That means along x direction we need to get the uh, in plane forces, correct? So for that what you can do you can create a cut line. Generally, you have to create a cut line. So, along this line, the, uh, you will be getting the forces, correct? So, now what I will do, I will go to this cut line, cut by line, and I will zoom here a bit, and I will draw a line, suppose in this element, at the as this end element is not moving at all. So, suppose here, at this element, do not cut at the node itself, just cut in between, between the nodes actually. Okay, so I will cut from here to 
here okay and then you have to give the vertical direction so basically we have given the x direction along which the force will be coming and then you have to give the vertical direction so uh, i'll give this way so this is my vertical direction and you can see we have got a line and the vertical uh, axis also so now if you go to this table you see this graph is also given one graph is also created okay so every element wise the nodes uh, forces are created so this is basically giving the forces from here okay but getting the forces from this drop down it is not uh, it is not per you can serve our purpose so what i will do i will get the forces from the table so what are these forces we need that i will explain you here yeah so this table is required for us first we are getting the stresses for the elements which which it has divided but we need the forces so here you can see these are the forces okay so which are the our requirement so you remember now this uh, nomenclature you have to remember the first thing we need the out of plane bending moment so bending moment about this axis correct bending moment about the z axis so if you have drawn the line this way the line which is perpendicular to this line about this axis we need the bending moment so this is actually the mr so the mr line is nothing but the moment about the axis which is perpendicular to the cut line so this is what we need moment about this axis correct so this is my mr line so this is you can directly write it as my in plane bending moment in plane bending moment in terms of shear in plane sorry bending moment or you can say my major bending major bending moment for shear wall design correct so this is the moment which will be resisting the forces okay uh, the resisting moment you can say then i have i need another one which is the in plane shear force right so here this fs line okay this fs line force along the line this is my in plane shear in plane shear for which we will be uh, you can say designing the horizontal uh, reinforcements correct so in plane shear or you can say major shear major shear force obviously it is along the direction of the force shear is always along the direction of the force as you see the value of this is will be very high because the force is acting along this direction so major shear this is my major shear ft if you see this ft line this ft line is nothing but my pu okay ft line is nothing but my pu now one thing i need to verify uh, before getting into it that for which load cases it is showing the results yes so you need to verify that whether your load combination is selected if you keep your load you can say single individual loads also in that case it will uh, get the maximum force for individual loads or the you can say combinations and it, it will give the results so which will not which is which will not be correct so whenever you are getting this uh, you can say you are coming to post processing mode you just select the load combinations or design load combinations i should say pro, pre precisely so then only you will get the these results correctly okay so this is basically giving the result for this load combination if there are 10 load combinations so whichever is the maximum one it will give that way okay so remember this you need to check or whenever you are coming to post processing mode you should select only the load combinations right another thing uh, so we got the pu or you can say this is my should i i should write it as axial load this is my axial load okay so these three things we need we need the pu we need the uh, suppose m what should i what should i say uh, suppose mu major we need the mu minor for out of front bending design if you are designing the shear wall for out of front bending and then we need the vu the in plane shear okay so all these values we have got for this shear wall at this section so similar way similar way you want to if you want to get the same for uh, suppose you are designing this shear wall up to this level up to this uh, first floor second floor level for this 
result forces itself now after this you want to get or uh, you want to optimize so in this case suppose you want to get a force somewhere here somewhere here okay so for this again you have to go to cut line and you just draw a cut line from here suppose. okay give the direction of the vertical axis and you got the cut line which is this second one so you can see now results are changing okay earlier it was at the bottom you can see two three nine three four now at the top it is 951 okay uh, and uh, you can see the in-plane forces also it reduced correct so this way you can optimize the reinforcement also by getting the forces at uh, different floor levels or different story levels after uh, an interval but a proper interval correct so this is the way you can extract the uh, shear wall design forces from the stat pro which many of you have ha had doubt uh, till now so you can use this option and you can then go for manual design or if you have an excel sheet prepared then you can directly take those forces there and you can design the shear wall okay so this is it uh, for this lecture uh, if you have any suggestion for any of the you can say topics that i should uh, explain please do let do let me know in the comment box i will try to uh, make lectures on those thank you and see you in the next lecture